Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be looking at another question from Linear Algebra which appeared in Mathematical Statistics paper 2022, right? This is a numerical type of answer uh, and here they are, you are given two things, determinant of the matrix A is given to you and you are given the adjoint of the matrix A. Then using these two things, you have to tell what is the trace of the matrix A, right? If you remember what is the trace of the matrix? So let me write down the solution trace of matrix. What is it? It is the sum of all the diagonal elements of the matrix sum of diagonal elements of the matrix, right? So that means in order to ha know what is the sum of the diagonal elements of the matrix first of all you should know what are the diagonal elements then only you could perform the sum and moreover in order to know the diagonal elements you should know what is a so that means we require to calculate we require to find what is the matrix a right so this is the first thing that we wanted to do here and how do you calculate A given the adjoint of matrix A? So you we have this formula. So note down this formula. You have A is equal to plus minus of 1 divided by square root of modulus of um, not modulus the adjoint uh, sorry the determinant of adjoint of the matrix A multiplied with adjoint of adjoint of A. So you have the adjoint matrix. So that means we are required to calculate the adjoint of the given matrix, right? And then we have to calculate the determinant of that matrix and take its square root, right? So these things are required here. So this is the formula. So first of all, we'll be calculating what is the determinant of this adjoint matrix A, right? So you are given the matrix adjoint A as 1, minus 1, 2, right? 5, 7 and 1 and then you are given the values minus 1, 1 and 1. So this is the matrix that is given to us, right, adjoint A. Now for this matrix here, we wanted to calculate its determinant. What is that determinant? So here you can uh, very easily calculate the determinant as 1, 7 minus 1, then plus 1, 5 plus 1, then plus 2, 5 plus 7, right. So you could solve this thing. So it is 6 plus 6 plus 24. And so this thing is equal to 36. So you have the value of determinant as 36. So you have one entry which you could write here. Now we wanted to calculate what is the adjoint of adjoint A. Right. So here we wanted to calculate the adjoint of adjoint of A. So what is that? It is the cofactor matrix it is the cofactor matrix of this matrix right what is this matrix this is adjoint a we are naming this as adjoint a when we take its transpose right so this is what we wanted here so we can very easily calculate the cofactors no issue in that so let's calculate the cofactors for the uh, given matrix so the for the first element if you remember what is the formula of uh, cofactors we have say c i j so let's let me write down here the cofactors are calculated by using the formula suppose you wanted to calculate the cofactor which is present in ith row and jth column so it is calculated by taking minus 1 raised to the power i plus j times of the minor i plus j and how uh, where let me write down where what is m i j it is the corresponding minor at ith row the minor at ith row and jth column right so this is uh, the formula so according to places this is position a11 so here we have the indexes i as 1 j as 1 so what would be the cofactor here what be the sign it is plus it is minus it is plus right this is minus this is plus for this position what is the position it is a 2 and 2 right 
so the position here is minus 1 raised to power 2 plus 2 times whatever is the minor right so here the sign would be positive minus 1 raised to power 4 that is a positive thing again here for this position we have a 2 3 position so we have minus 1 raised to power 2 plus 3 times of m 2 3 so here the sign would be minus 1 raised to power 5 so the sign would be equal to negative so we have negative here negative here and positive here and what should be the values here you could very easily calculate the values as well what what is that according to minor if you see if you wanted to calculate the minor at this position so you multiply this thing with this thing subtract this thing with this thing so you have the value 7 minus 1 that is 6 here the next value would be obtained when you when you look for the minor of minus 1 here in this matrix so what is the minor of minus 1 here you multiply uh, you just delete this row and the same column so you multiply 5 with 1 so that is 5 minus of minus 1 with 1 so that is 5 plus 1 that is 6 so you have minus 6 here similarly you calculate all the other values that's very easy and that you have already learned about in the previous and lower classes so let me just write down minus 0 is nothing but 0 only so there is no need to write minus here this element is 0 itself and the last entries they are 15 9 and 12 right so uh, this is the uh, cofactor matrix when you take the transpose it would be the adjoint matrix so it is 6 3 and 15 then minus 6 right minus 6 3 and 9 then 12 0 and 12 so this is the adjoint matrix for the given matrix adjoint a right now what we wanted to calculate we wanted to calculate a so a is your plus minus 1 divided by square root of the determinant of adjoint a this is the formula that we are using here so in this formula what is the value of uh, the determinant of a joint a it is 36 so we will write the square root of 36 here multiplied with this matrix that we have just computed here so what is this matrix it is so the matrix is 6 3 15 minus 6 3 and 9 12 0 and 12 actually in exam you do not have to compute all the entries why because we are only interested to know about the diagonal elements which would give us the trace so you could save your time in the exam by just calculating the diagonal elements here right so what is the value here so this is the matrix you could solve it solve the complete matrix or uh, you could just do the calculations required so we just go on to the trace of matrix a so what is that it is the sum of the diagonal entries and what is the sum of diagonal entries it is 1 divided by 6 into this element this is the first element then 1 divided by 6 is uh, multiplied with 3 that is the second element and then the third element would be 1 divided by 6 multiplied with the third element that is 12 so when you solve this it is equal to 1 it is equal to 1 by 2 and it is equal to 2 right so this is equal to 3 plus 1 by 2 so your answer is equal to 3.5 so this is your final answer right so let me write down the final answer here in the question so the answer is 3.5 so i hope you understood this question well well that is it for this video thank you for watching